Hi guys, so today I was inspired by this pizza highlighter by Gina.Makeup and I'll leave her information down below. So here I'm just going to show you guys quickly the products that I grabbed. I'll leave them all listed below because I do go through them kind of fast. You don't have to use the products I use, this is just what I had on hand, so go ahead and use whatever products you have or whatever products you feel like purchasing. If you have any broken eyeshadows or highlighters, this will be a perfect project to use them. And also I'm going to be using some alcohol. I put it in a spray bottle to make it easier. So I'm just watching these colors because I wanted to see what kind of pigment that they put off. Okay, so now I'm taking my palette knife and I'm just going through and separating the colors in this Wet n Wild palette because this is what I'm going to be putting the pizza into. So I thought this pizza highlighter was so adorable and I was really excited about recreating it. But again, I'm not the original creator, so go ahead and go check out Gina.Makeup. Again, I'll leave her stuff down below. If you're obsessed with pizza like I am, then this is just like the perfect project. Even if you don't actually end up using it as a highlight, it's just adorable to have sitting there right on your vanity. I don't know if it's just me, but I think it is so satisfying when these colors just pop right out of the pan. So I took the lightest color, like the tan one, and then mix it with this um, hard candy one that was already broken, and those are both going to be highlighters. And I'm just going to smash it until it's a fine powder. And since I'm using this for the cheese, I went ahead and added a little bit of this like random CoverGirl eyeshadow that I had that was just laying around. I also added some of this hard candy translucent powder, but it really didn't make a difference, so you don't have to do that. And then to the darkest highlight color from the Wet n Wild palette, I'm gonna add some of this like shimmery eyeshadow to darken it up a little bit. I'm also gonna take some of this Ulta. It's just a shimmer, like a body shimmer, and I'm gonna add that in because like I said, the colors alone weren't very shimmery. So then I'm gonna take my alcohol and just spritz it in because I don't want it to be super liquidy. I want it to still have body. I want it to have body, but I also want it to look glossy, if that makes sense. So I don't want it to have a whole lot of texture because once you put it into the palette and if it has texture, it's going to show in your end result. So all I'm doing is taking a little bit at a time and putting it all around because I felt like I didn't have enough of the color that I'm using for the crust. So I just wanted to go ahead and evenly space it so that I didn't run out of the product. So to the cheesy color, I'm going to be adding more shimmer, and this is again another Ulta like body shimmer. And I just added that in because I wanted my highlight to have a lot of sparkle in it. So I went ahead and mixed that in. And right here I'm transferring some of the powder because there was a lot in that container and I didn't think I was going to need that much for the cheese. And here I'm using this Bare Essential eyeshadow in the color Bali because it's a really pretty shimmery brown. And with this one you can tell that the texture and consistency was a lot nicer than the crust. So then for the little pepperonis I'm using the dark like pink shade from the Wet n Wild palette and I'm going to be adding some eyeshadows and some blush into it. This is another Wet n Wild product. This is just a blush that had some shimmer in it that I thought would be really pretty. And this is an Ulta eyeshadow in Cherry Bomb. And then again, more of that Ulta shimmer. Go ahead and mix it all in. And then I'm adding the 
alcohol again a little bit at a time with the sprayer. You could use a dropper or you can go ahead and pour it in, but I found that using a sprayer helped me control the portions and gave me to the consistency that I want a lot better. So then with my palette knife and a toothpick, I'm just going and adding a little pepperonis all around my pizza. I was a little nervous about the color because I didn't want my highlight to be pink toned or look like a blush, but it ended up being fine. So all I'm doing right here is taking a coffee filter and a cup to flatten out the product and also to remove the excess moisture from the alcohol. So that's what I'm gonna do with the napkin as well. I put the coffee filter down first because I didn't want my pizza to have the imprint of my napkin on it. So then again, I took another coffee filter and took out some more moisture. Then with my palette knife, I went around the edges and just cleaned up the crust because that one was a lot thicker in consistency and didn't lay as nice as the cheese. So with my palette knife, you could use a toothpick or whatever you have. I'm going to go ahead and score it. I'm not going all the way through because I don't really want to cut like individual slices. I'm just going about halfway through with the knife just to give it the pizza slice look. And there you have it. There's the finished product. It does have to set overnight and then I'll come back and let you know how it works. Okay guys, so here's the final product. I'm really excited for the way it came out and I'm so excited to use it. It's been a couple days so it's kind of just been sitting there like staring at me. And like I said, you don't have to use all the products that I use. Use whatever you're comfortable um, using or whatever you have. So let's go ahead and swatch this. So I got two different brushes. Usually I use this one, but I'm kind of worried that I put too many pepperonis and it might come out like a little pink. So I got this one and then I got this one. So we'll see which one works best and how the color looks. So just by like swatching it on my finger, there is a lot of pink and it is quite powdery. And the color is really subtle. I don't know if you can see that, but let's go ahead and swatch it on face okay so I went ahead and swirled my brush in it and let's see okay so it's super powdery like just by swirling there's powder all over but on the face it's super shimmery and I'm not getting a lot I'm, a, I'm actually not getting a lot of the pepperoni color which is nice because I don't really like the pinky highlights I like more of the yellow or bronze so I'm loving it I think it's a success let's see on this one. Oh, I told you I would use both brushes but I just got carried away so let's see I don't know if you can see on camera, but in real life, it is super glowy. So, I'm super excited with the way it came out. Other than it being powdery, I'm not too worried about that because one of the main ones that I used was only $4. And then the other one was the hard candy one, which was already broken, so I wasn't using it anyways. And now I can actually use it and have a really adorable pizza highlighter. So if there's any more beauty hacks that you guys want to see or beauty DIYs that you guys would like to see, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.